Oh, you all got here then, eh? Hello, Walter. You'll be a long time in there, you know. A long time. <laughs> Has he been? <laughs> he went in there, but I don't know whether he's been. Be a long time in there, you know, like I said. Have you been? <laughs> I think he's been. <laughs> Sandwich. How do you like the coat? Is it all right? Oh, yeah, working. It doesn't look so bad considering it's been wrapped round our hot water system all winter. <laughs> Still, it's kept its shape for you very well, hasn't it? Mm. It's kept your shape too. You're still thin, thin enough to swarm up a tin whistle and put your head out of every hole. <laughs> hey, they're opening doors. Well, come on then. Oh, hey. And just think on, be careful what you say in there, short ass. I shall just... I shall just tell the truth. And truth is stranger than fritching. <laughs> Your plunge? No, it's not my plunge, we'll have the two. No, plunge. Well, you are the shoplifting, aren't you? Just mind how you're talking to me, young man. I'm button your coat up, too, when you talk to me. I pay my rates, you know. <laughs> my name's Nelly Pledge, and I thank you to think on. It says, it says plunge here. Huh. Is that your alias? No, that's our Eli. That's Give it to me. I will see to it. Hey, I seem to know that face. And the back of them legs as well. <laughs> Who's that that just went in? It's Mr. Alcroft. It's the magistrate's clerk. Terry Alcroft? Magistrate's clerk? Ooh! I used to go to school with him. Into the small world. It is that, Mrs. Now just sit there and be quiet and don't cause any bother. Hello, Ida. They caught you at it again. You ought to find a nice fella and settle down with him. That's what I was doing in the park when you <laughs> You'll never learn, will you? Go on, get in queue. I don't know you, do I, love? No. <laughs> I'm new to this game. <laughs> Where'd they catch you at it? In the supermarket. <laughs> Between the medical department and the detergents. In the supermarket? Mm. It's a bit public. It's always packed out in there. It's the trading stamps that does it. <laughs> you give them trading stamps, they'll come time after time. Trading stamps? In the supermarket? I never thought of that. That's where the money is. <laughs> you must have been hard up, though, starting at your age. No, I'm not so hard up, exactly. But I must admit that at my time of life, it's more difficult to make ends meet. <laughs> Oh, shut up. <laughs> I always say, if you're enjoying what you're doing, it doesn't matter about the money. <laughs> Your belly pledge, alias plunge. Give over. Ooh, I'd do anything for a good hot cup of tea. Yeah. Come on, Your Honour, don't give me any chance. Give over, you big girl's blouse. <laughs> Ta. <laughs> She's a ripper. She said she'd do anything for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> you, Terry! <laughs> don't you know me? Be quiet, madam. No, don't you know me now? I'm uh, Nelly Pledge, as was. Well, uh, as still is, come to think of it. <laughs> Contain yourself, madam. And stand up when you address the court. I am stood standing up. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Don't you want to know me now you've got on? Uh, the defendant, Mr. Highcroft? Certainly not, Your Worship. Of course he knows her. Yeah. When they were kids, they used to be doctors and nurses together. 
<laughs> and he always won, didn't he? Yeah. Silence in court. He used to sit at the same desk in school, and he used to peep over my shoulder and copy me sums. <laughs> this is all quite irrelevant, Your Worship. Oh, I can see you now, Terry. In girls' playground, sliding off that big pile of coke next to girls' lavies. <laughs> <laughs> His Worship doesn't want to hear any of this. On the contrary, Mr. Howcroft, I find it all intensely interesting. <laughs> With respect, Your Worship, I think we've already caught a glimpse of my client's bona fides. I sure are. <laughs> Send her down. She wants solitary confinement. Hey, I really I'm not married. <laughs> oh, you bonny Terry. Oh, do you remember how you used to chase the girls in the girls' playground, eh? <laughs> and hit the BTMs with your licorice whip. <laughs> yes, well, I think we've had enough of these nostalgic memories. Let's proceed with the case. I agree. And I just want to say that uh, if my name is used in these proceedings, I, I shall take legal action. I reckon that. Here, here. This is a final warning. I will have no more interruptions. Now, madam, how do you plead guilty or not guilty? I plead our Eli guilty. Uh, you can't do that. Well, then I plead not guilty with uh, exterminating circumstances. This is the most ridiculous plea I ever heard in my life. She always was a miserable pleader. That's enough of that. Who is this Eli? That's him over there with the funny eyes. And that that thing being twizzled in and out of his uh, silver things with his jacket. You mean the uh, bald-headed one who keeps winking at me? Oh, no, that's our Walter. Are you all right, Walter? Can you see? Miss Page, <laughs> would you kindly tell us what befell at the supermarket yesterday? You know what befell. <laughs> I told you. Yes, but uh, you have to tell the court. Well, I don't like. I mean, it, it's rude. Oh, come, come, madam. You can put it bluntly. We're all men of the world. You speak to yourself. <laughs> anything you say won't be anything we haven't heard many times before. Well, you haven't heard it from me many times before. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll write it down, if you like. Oh, very well, write it down. Let me a pen, Terry. <laughs> no, I won't. Go on, Terry. Lend us your pen. I won't. Oh, lend her your pen, Terry. <laughs> Why did you inhale me when I came into this court? Be, be quiet. You know very well what they call me at school. No. <laughs> Pick a lily, lily. <laughs> and you, Terry the Tingler. <laughs> Don't make on you don't know. <laughs> I really don't see what bearing this has on the matter. Uh, may we hear what my client has written, Your Worship? By all means. Two pounds of best beef dripping, <laughs> one sheep's head and half a yard of nigger elastic. <laughs> That's my shopping list. It's on the other side. Anyway, I'm not guilty. It's him you want. With all due respect, Cock, I'd like to say that a lot of untrue allegations are going to be made against my character by our kid and Chief Einstein's here. Oh, dear. <laughs> Apart from that, you're a pillar of the community, are you, Mr. Finn? Could say that, couldn't you? Yeah, and that's uh, what? Pillar of the community? Ask him what he does in the deep end at the National Swimming Baths. <laughs> and what do you do in the deep end of the National Swimming Bar? Same as I do in three foot end at National Swimming Bar. Backstroke. <laughs> you make a most unsatisfactory witness. I don't think you're going to be too good as a defendant either. Don't pick on me. Sort her out. Lizzie Borden. I'm the judge in this court. You couldn't judge a bit of crumpet in a tea shop. <laughs> don't stand for that, your magnitude. <laughs> Get him into that dock with his sister. I want to speak to my solicitor. Well, he doesn't want to speak to you. Oh, Ooh, I don't know you could. <laughs> oh, it must be two hours now. It's quarter two. Oh, I must get a little hand put on this watch. <laughs> oh, Walter, what did I say?
say to you before you went in, you wouldn't be told, would you? I asked you had you been. <laughs> What about your Walter? What about our Walter? Yes. What about your poor Eli? Oh. 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 I thought Eli was your nearest and dearest. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to him? What have I done? Oh, Eli! What have I done, dear? What have you done? What have you done? I'll never be able to hold me at a big conservative club again. Why not? I've got a conditional discharge. What? A conditional discharge. Never mind, I'll go straight home and I'll put a poultice on. <laughs> 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 